My name is Mark Peterson. I live in the southern part of Dane County and this has been a family farm now for over a hundred years. Behind me in the barn I have about 48 milk cows and I run about 27 springing heifers and dry cows on the platform out back with them. And then there's a freestall barn for those. The Nature Conservancy is demonstrating in the Pecatonic River project that farmers can maintain or increase the yields on their lands as well as put into place conservation practices that will improve the water quality of streams like the Pecatonica River. We came in and we targeted areas of this watershed, not the whole thing like we typically do, but we targeted areas that show they had the biggest chance for depositing sediment and phosphorus into the system. Part of our real goal in this project is once we've, once we've gotten the farmers to adopt these new practices, we want them to be adopted in a way that they are actually making as much or more profit than they were previously. There's always a learning curve and it takes some time for farmers to adopt these new changes and therefore the financial assistance is really beneficial to help them to, to make the change and uh, take the risk. What we are doing in this project is bringing a great deal of partners together to really bring the, the science and the monitoring that we as an organization feel are essential to really evaluating whether an approach works. Going out and, and, and having uh, a, a great deal of dialogue with the farmers is involving them in helping find the solutions that work on their farms from no-till farming from changing their crop rotation of what crops they're planting each year to fertilizer and their application of manure. My name is Scott Jelly and I uh, have a beef farm here. This is a 40 acre parcel right here. I have 120. It's all family farm. You want to do the best for your land where you need it. The farmers in this watershed participated in nutrient management plans. They look at the inputs of fertilizer or manure they look at the crop needs and it manages where the manure and the nutrients goes. Once you start the plan, it helps you with your nutrient levels and you can do a better job on your crops too. So it's not only, in my eyes, just to keep the phosphorus away from the creek, it's also a management tool for the farmer. This project showed them that the nutrient management plan can actually make them money um, by managing where they put the fertilizers, optimizing their yields, and directing their manure in the right places. We also are working with farmers to really improve the, their pasturing, especially along streams. We fence nearly four and a half miles of stream, keeping the livestock from having direct access. Now they have limited access through access lanes. They have a water source, they go through it, you know, uh, get their drink and be on their way as far as their pasture. The primary cause of phosphorus is likely to be coming off of farmers fields from manure spreading. Changing the manure spreading practices would um, likely see a reduction down here at the gauge. If there's a lot of phosphorus you'll end up having algal blooms in stiller portions of the water. After the algae has bloomed the the matter will fall to the bottom of the water channel and start to decay and while it's decaying it takes all of the oxygen that's dissolved in the water out of the water and that's the oxygen that all of the fish life and biota need to have in the water. And so our aim is to try and get these streams back to what we call their attainable use which is as trout streams. It's, it's absolutely uh, imperative that we work with the landowners and the farmers in the watershed because if we do our work down here but we don't stop the pollution sources from the watershed, our investment here is going to be very short-lived. For us to improve the waters of the Pecatonica and in turn the waters of the Mississippi River, we have to address the conservation practices taking part on dairy farms and other farm landscapes of our state. This is a test watershed and at the end of it, if we can prove out that by putting limited conservation on the right areas, it's going to change conservation the way it's been done historically.